But yeah. And before I do anything, let me just turn off the radio. I figured out how to turn it off. You have to sit down. I don't know why they did it like this. You can watch TV too. Let's watch TV a little bit. To Boring. Boring. For the third consecutive okay, that's enough. And that's how you turn off the radio. <laughs> Your apartment when you first wake up in V's apartment. Okay, so here we go. Howdy, howdy, Night City. The name is Slack. Welcome back to my Cyberpunk 2077 walkthrough on very hard difficulty. We are in Act 2. The lockdown is lifted. That's right. The world is our oyster. And we have money. It's time for a makeover. Let's go shopping. Major Slack videos. Okay, we have some optional objectives here. I don't really know what difference this makes, but obviously you want to get dressed, so let's get dressed. Yeah, even though she's looking, um, you know, pretty fine. Shake your booty. Had a girl. Oh my gosh. Okay, and uh, <laughs> where's the bitch T-shirt? Got to put on the bitch T-shirt. And yeah, we're gonna get you some new good new duds. We're gonna get you out of these baggy pants finally. Not too shabby, eh, there be? Not too shabby. We're gonna make some big improvements though. That's it for oh wait a minute. Can't forget the shades. Beautiful. Beautiful. Alright, now, uh weapons. We're gonna make some changes here too. Let's get our overture back. This is going to serve us well um, for quite a while, but we will have to upgrade it. Next, um, we need a good ICSGS weapon. What's ICSGS like? ICSGS, in case shit goes sideways. We could use a Kangu, but um, there's a Liberty, a legendary Liberty that outperforms the Kangu. I'm thinking to go for that. And for now, let's just put the Dying Knight in the third slot, and that's that. Next! Stock up on ammo. Just go in this room here, grab some ammo, done. Eat! Go over here and grab yourself an extra large burrito. Should be one right here. Nope. There's the burrito. There we go, found something to eat. Check your email. Uh-oh. Looks like the rain is overdue. Takamura, what say you? Takemura here. We must meet. Come to Thomas Diner. Hmm. Why would I do that? Because I am the one who saved your life. Haven't managed to get my head straight yet. Not after everything that happened. That will not happen anytime soon. And so what? If you intend to leave, you must re-enter the ring. The bell has already told. Thomas Diner, I am waiting. Okay, Takamura, we're going to table that for a later date. For now, we got a lot of stuff to unload. I'm almost at capacity here. So I'm going to go <laughs> to... Okay, take it easy there, V. Take it easy. Here. Shake it off. Shake it off. You'll be fine. Don't worry about it. All right. We have a drop box right outside here. Put that away. And we have a whole bunch of stuff to offload and or disassemble. Uh, remember my formula. If it's 65 bucks or over, sell it. If it's less than 65 bucks, disassemble it. All right, so I've already got a save ready to go here where I've taken care of all this business. It's pretty routine, so I'm just going to skip it. But I'm just going to skip ahead to that save. Okay, back in V's apartment, and I've offloaded and disassembled everything. My carry weight is now down to a nice respectable 40 and we are ready to go first things first um we're gonna be dealing with a lot of bots in the missions coming up it would be nice to have a silent weapon with electrical damage there is a legendary dr5 nova at the gun shop next to kabuki market 
which is where I just went. I did that a little fast there. Yeah, Kabuki Market. Go to Kabuki Market. I'm going to show you on the map as soon as we get out of this little screen. Right? Right in the center of Watson here. And we're going to go to Straight Shooters. Just turn to the right as soon as you land at Kabuki Market. Run down here a little bit. Hop over the fence. This guy always has a legendary DR5 Nova. It's a revolver. Comparable to what you have now. Iron. The stats on it are completely random. What you want is something with um, <clears throat> electrical damage. That would be really great. And a high crit chance. This one is, is fantastic. Except that it doesn't have electrical damage. This would be almost perfect. But all the stats you see here, that's what you want. You want 25% crit chance. 15% 50 uh, 50 crit damage and um, as far as the raw damage somewhere around somewhere between 93 and 95 like I said this would be perfect um, except it doesn't have electrical damage to respawn all I have to do um, is to simply step outside wait 24 hours skip time wait 24 confirm and go back inside and check again and in this manner you can We're farm buy some new iron. for a good decent DR5 all right now I've already got a save loaded up where I have found um, a perfect DR5 Nova. So I'm just going to load that save. Oh yeah. All right, I'm back. And here we go. There is my legendary DR5 Nova with electrical damage. 97 damage. This is the best I've ever done. 26% crit chance. That's going to be fantastic. And um, yeah, so we have to wait till level 12 to get that. That's just the next level. Next, uh, we want to upgrade our Overture. Don't worry about it if you can't find it, okay? If you can't find a decent DR5 Nova, I have done all the, I'd say the next half a dozen or so missions just with the Overture. This will this will do fine, but it would be nice if you can have a revolver with electrical damage, but it's not absolutely necessary, but it would be nice. Right, next, uh, we want to upgrade the DR5 Nova. None of the gun shops since patch 1.2. None of the gun shops in Watson carry legendary components. I tested them all. Okay, I've gone to all three gun shops here. The one at V's apartment, the one here at Kabuki Market, and the one up here. I've waited five days at each one, tested their inventory. None of them sell legendary components anymore. If you want legendary components in Act 1, the only place you can get it, as far as I can tell, is this junk shop right here. It's kind of out of the way to get to. It's a real pain in the ass. Um, or you could just wait till Act 2. In Act 2, all of the gun shops that I've seen so far have legendary components. It's just a matter of getting to them. And we also need a vehicle. Our vehicle was taken away. Um, the fastest way to get a free car is to simply go to, well, let's do it right now because we're going to need a vehicle to get around. Okay, so let's go back to the Kabuki Market fast travel drop off. Fast travel station rather, right here. Okay. And what you're going to do is zoom out, zoom all the way out. And you're looking for this squiggly road right here at the southeast side of Santa Domingo. This squiggly road right there. And there is Tama Viewpoint. Go there now. This is the fastest way I know of to get a free car in Act 2 without having to go into combat. Operative word, no combat. And here's the El Capitan. Let's just fast track that. I just love being able to fast track these guys since patch 1.2. Okay, once you've done that, go into sneak mode, sneak across the street here, turn right at the cacti, and you're going to go into this area here. Don't worry about these guys, we're going to grab that vehicle right there. Just sneak up on the driver's side, don't worry about it, sneak up on the driver's side, get in, and once you're in, it's you're pretty cool. Okay, just back up a bit, drive forward to reposition. And you're going to back up like that, out, and away you go, no problem. <laughs> That's not the vehicle we want though. The vehicle we want is the Colby Butte, which thankfully uh, survived patch 1.2. The Colby Butte, if you zoom right out here, okay, there's the main 
part of Night City and then there's this little village here known as Rocky Ridge if I recall correctly just northeast of Rocky Ridge at this location here let's just put a waypoint at this intersection here and drive there this is about a three minute drive it's really fast Top speed. And of course we're in Act 2 now, so everybody's gonna be spamming us with message to messages to buy vehicles. Let's see how it corners. Dude! Haha, <laughs> yeah. My name is Dakota Smith. Hey Dakota. If you're looking for jobs out here, you will find them with me. Okay. Name's V. Thanks for the intel. Things flow differently out here. Keep your head on, city kid. Coming through. <laughs> Listen to the horn. This is ridiculous. What is that? <laughs> okay. I see that uh, CD Project Red is still ironing out a few of the bugs. Okay, so I'm going to follow your waypoint up to the intersection that I indicated earlier. That is the weirdest horn I've ever heard. It's like... It sounds like grinding the gears. Okay, this should be Rocky Ridge. If I recall correctly. Indeed it is. Um, this time around I'm going to pass on the hero's mission which will reward us with Jackie's bike. I realized that I never used Jackie's bike and that mission only rewards you with 75 XP. So, and Jackie's pistols, his iconic pistols, uh, they totally suck. So, the, you know, I don't think there's any point in doing that mission. So in case some of you are going to say, well, you know, you can get a free bike doing Jackie's mission. I'm not going to bother with that this time. Okay, so at this location here, okay, just north of the intersection that um, we put a waypoint on, right here at Desert Film Set, there's actually a fast travel spot here. Um, you'll find the Colby Butte, which is a free vehicle that gets added to your garage. There you go, vehicle acquired. There you go, that's what you're looking for. And let's grab that. Um, this here, we can only use it at level level 20 if I recall correctly. I believe it's an outer torso. There it is. But it's pretty decent armor. Okay, let's hang on to that. So we got a vehicle. Great. Let's go get some legendary components. We passed Sunset Motel on the way here. Back it up here, down to Sunset Motel. Key location is some main jobs coming up. At Sunset Motel is one of the locations where a gun shop is right nearby. So this is why I selected this one. It's just right over there. Very convenient. Whee! What are you carrying? And here we can buy some legendary components to upgrade our overture. I need, your mileage may vary, but I need, let me check my notes here, I need 15 epic item, 15 epic upgrade, 15 epic, or er, 15 legendary item, <coughs> pardon me, 15 legendary item and 15 um, legendary upgrade. And finally, 22 rare item. Let's start with the 22 rare item. I love how cheap components are now since patch 1.2. It's just great. 
Okay, 22 rare item and 15 of each legendary item, legendary upgrade, epic item, and epic upgrade. If you don't have any, um, of these, it'll probably be the same for you to upgrade the overture. See, if you don't have any of these and you have, you've been following this walkthrough, that's exactly how many you need to um, upgrade. Whoops, wrong one. This one, the overture. All right, and your mileage may vary with regards to how many rare items you need. But if you want to know how many epic item, upgrade, legendary item, and legendary upgrade, you need 15 of each. All right, let's buy them right. Buy them right now. Um, boom. This is fantastic. This previously, this would have cost us like a bazillion dollars. They really dropped the cost on this. And finally. All right, now this will allow us to upgrade the Overture four times, if I recall correctly. Upgrade, Overture, here we go. One, two, three, four, five times, five times. And then we have to take it up to level 12 before we can upgrade it again. But we have improved it immensely. There you go, beautiful. Next. Um. Let's get let's get V some new debts. Let's get her out of these baggy pants. Uh, I like to point out that since we upgraded the overture, it all, not only improves the damage, it also improves the crit chance. That is key, because now we have a surplus of crit chance. Okay, and we also upgraded crafting. Got a free perk point. We'll deal with that later. Okay, so if you take out your overture, go into sneak mode, check out your crit chance. You see that we now have 45.56% crit chance on the weapon itself, and we have 72% crit chance here. So now we have an, an, a surplus of crit chance. So we could take her out of these pants, which had the Fortuna mod on them, which was contributing to our, our crit chance previously. See right here, contributing 12%. We can do without that and get her into some better duds. <laughs> Something a little more... How should we say, um, interesting to a predominantly male audience in YouTube. <laughs> Let's go get her some duds. Where is the fast travel? Right here. All right, V, we're taking you shopping. We're going to start off with uh, the clothing shop here in Watson, just north of Goldsmith. All right. There is a uh, Kubiki Market. There is V's building. Goldsmith is right there. At the Golds, at the stylishly clothing shop just north of Goldsmith, we're looking for. I'm looking for. Okay, this has nothing to do with any kind of tactical considerations whatsoever. This is just strictly eye candy okay we will be buying some zero drag so that, that will have some tactical considerations the zero drag mod which will allow us to move a lot faster i'm looking for the old gold cutoff shorts specifically and uh <clears throat> pardon me as you're power shopping anytime you see see a zero drag clothing mod buy it okay they're only 63 bucks you want to stack up as many of those as you can and she doesn't have any cutoff shorts whatsoever, but there's a high chance that she's gonna have some cutoff shorts. I'm looking specifically for the old gold ones because I like them, all right? So I'm just gonna skip ahead to the save I have loaded up where I've got everything I want um, with regards to this. Oops, looks like I deleted that save, bummer. Okay, well, we're gonna have to do some power shopping here too. Just wait 24, see if I can come up with these. Oh, there they are. Great. Perfect. <laughs> That's what I was looking for. Okay. Old gold tack fabric dual layer cutoff shorts. One, please. 
And does she have any more zero drag mods? That's the thing that... Um... Okay, whatever. Alright, so... Damn, you go, girl. Shake that booty. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, so, um... I wanted to have... Three more zero drag mods. This clothing shop frequently has zero drag mods. Let's just wait 24. And if this gets too tedious, I'll just do it off camera. There is one. Let's try again. Shake it off, E. There's another. Struck out this time. There's some more old golds. Too bad they don't have a mod slot. Be nice if you have two more. There's another one. Okay. We have three. Here's what I'm going to do. Load them all into the glasses. Since we're playing as a stealth pistol here, um, we don't need armor. <laughs> armor? Armor? We don't need no stinking armor. Yeah, if we need armor, that means we're failing as a stealth pistol here. So let's load up all these zero drags into the glasses. That way, if we do want some armor or anything else, we can just swap out the glasses for something else. Instead of like spreading these all over the place, put them all on the same piece of clothing. Okay, so... Zero drag in there. And you'll see this makes a huge difference with your sneak speed. It's, it's absolutely incredible. Your run speed. Your sneak speed. Isn't that great? I'd like to have one more. And, um... Try it here one more time. There's another stop I want to make on this shopping trip. No oh, shit, no. Oh yeah, don't worry about it, B. Shake it off. And we have one more. Great, excellent. Good. Great. Let's slap that on the Maelstrom jacket. Okay, super fast. That's right. Check this out, she's practically sneaking at walk speed. Damn, B. That's what I'm talking about. Put a little charm on your face. Huh? Huh? Who loves you? Who loves you, boys? <laughs> All right. Enough fooling around. Um, back to business. We need to upgrade our operating system uh, after shopping around on all the Ripper docks. I think the best deal can be had. Uh, yes, I'm fully aware that uh, what's his face Buck here is going to give us a. 20% discount. However, the operating system I want, um, he doesn't have. The one I want is up here at Cassius, the Ripper Dock up here. And it's just a quick drive north from here, so let's go there now. What are you doing here?
Alright, punch it, Chewie. Whoa, watch it, watch it. Now. What? Yeah, watch it. Yeah. This is the Ripper Doc we we brought um, the burning dick guy too, if you recall. <laughs> All right. Cassius. Let's see what's my good. man. Okay, here we go. And the one you want is this one. Gives you a colossal nine base ramp. I added on top to what we have. This will give us thirteen ram. This is going to cover all our needs. We don't really need a lot of um, slots because we're not going to be using that many quick hacks. But ram is going to help out a lot. So let's buy this. It's a done deal. And Cyberware. Let's load the sucker up. We have now have four slots. Let's put ping in the first one. Ping. Short circuit. Reboot optics and synapse burnout. Everybody should have those. All right. Next. There is a clothing shop uh, right here. This is another completely cosmetic consideration. No tactical advantage whatsoever. This is just something I want to check out. <laughs> hey, she's got to look good. As she's kicking ass. Okay. Oh, so this is a good time for you then? Yep. Hola. Been thinking about a new jack. How about those magenta cutouts? Are you gonna give me the magenta cutouts? Not this time. Let me just re-roll this a couple times if it gets too tedious. Yeah. I like the old gold, but I prefer the the magenta. <laughs> Yeah, become a, a cut-off connoisseur. Cut-off oh, shorts so connoisseur. This is a good time for you then? Huh. Four mod slots for 17,000. Huh. It's gonna look good on her too. <laughs> I mean, uh, um, four mod slots. That's tempting. Um, see, it's comparable to this, except this only has one mod slot. We have to save fifteen thousand, and I want to buy the the. Um, I wonder if you can pull this off. Okay, my first question is, uh, does she always have this? It's highly likely that she does. Oh, so this is a good time for you then? Interesting. Um, let me just do a hard save in case I change my mind. Okay, how's that look on you? Get you out of that stupid. Oh shoot! 
I'm gonna waste one of my zero drags. Okay, well. Not bad, except I'm not crazy about the color. Um, and that leaves me with 18,000, and I won't be able to buy the legendary um, Liberty. So I think I'm gonna pass on this. <laughs> Play the game, Slack. I am playing the game. This is part of the game. Come on. Okay, one more stop. That would be the legendary Liberty. The legendary Liberty can be found at the Sunset Motel gun shop. Right there. One skin not essential, but it would help a lot. This is going to be your ICSGS weapon. Once again, that's in case shit goes sideways. Gonna you're gonna want something that can deal with bots and and drones who are um, susceptible to electrical damage. Yes. Okay, so here we go. This is what you're looking for, and you're looking for it to have electrical damage. And as you can see, the uh, it actually outperforms the Kongu. 159 DPS, and this only has 148. And this only has one mod slot. This has four. Let's just re-roll it. I always wonder how far you have to go away to, um, to re-roll. Can we just like step aside here? I forgot the stats before. Oh, it did reroll. Great. Okay. Don't want that one. Shit. Shake it off, E. Don't worry about it. Shake it off. You're gonna be fine. Thermal damage. Alright, once again, if this is too tedious, I'll just, um... I'll just skip ahead. Chemical damage. Physical damage. Bingo. Wow. That's what I'm talking about. That's pretty much the... I, I just re-rolled it about 50 times. And I noticed repeatedly that the ones with electrical damage either spawn with no crit chance or low raw damage. Repeatedly. And the only, the only way you can get ones with high raw damage was either chemical damage, physical damage, or thermal damage. But when it came to electrical damage, kept crapping up. But finally, it's level 12, but uh, we're only at, le we're at level 11, so it's like next stop, no problem. This is what we want, 17,000, and I got the money. Let's buy it. And it's a done deal. Okay, so finally done. Um, <laughs> yeah, like I said, I had to re-roll 50 times. Let me just save the game. Make sure I lock that in. Okay, so we were off to... Um, whoops, my bad. We were. I was going to go for the car uh, to get $4,000 from Delamain. I believe we have to do the... Um, complete the playing for time. Read the message from the Mega Building Administrational Optional. Oh, it's the from Mega Building. Sorry, I thought it was from 
Here we go. Informs you that your vehicle is available for collection in the nearby parking garage. We wish it was day. Okay, we're gonna do that first thing next video because this is getting a little long and I'm I'm getting really hungry. It's um early morning here in Montreal, Quebec, and I want to go have breakfast. I haven't had breakfast yet. So that's it. Shake it off, V. Don't worry about it. Shake it off. Shake it off. It's just a little Johnny Silver hand. Don't worry about it. Shake it off. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. Have some tomato juice. Yeah. Alright, so thanks a lot for watching. And if you thought this was remotely entertaining and or informative, you know what to do. Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you next time for some more Cyberpunk 2077 on Very Hard Difficulty. Hey guys, real walkthroughs like these are an endangered species here on YouTube. For a complete lowdown on the YouTube video game walkthrough scene, check out my Patreon page and please consider making a donation to yours truly, Major Slack, to help keep real walkthroughs alive on YouTube. You can donate as little as $1. That's $1, that's all. That's all it takes, alright? Thanks a lot, really appreciate it.